Welcome back to The Good Dish. Now, we are extremely passionate about sustainability and food waste here. And social media star, known to the world as Creative Explained Guy, has some, well, very creative ways to reuse items you might usually throw out. Armin Adamian has over 3.3 million TikTok followers, and his ideas blow all of us away. Just look at these hacks on how to keep produce fresh for over a month. If you buy fruits and vegetables, this is how you store them and make them last even longer. Onions, garlic, and shallots, keep them outside of the fridge in a dry, cool area. Lettuce, wrap them in foil, stick them in the fridge and they'll be fresh for 30 days. Never put potatoes in the fridge, it'll turn the starch into sugar. So place them somewhere cool and dry and in a very dark spot. Scallions and asparagus, fill up a jar with a little bit of water and add them in. Then loosely place the plastic bag over them, they'll last for 10 to 14 days. Over refrigerated cucumbers, they'll get mushy like three days. So put them in a plastic bag, poke them whole, and place them in a cool spot in the kitchen. Pears, apples, and kiwis, keep them separate because they release a gas called ethylene. This gas will ripen everything else around them. Ginger and lemon do best in the fridge. Tomatoes, keep them on the kitchen counter. For herbs, you want a wet paper towel, roll it up in it, and then place it in the Ziploc bag and then in the fridge. Bananas, wrap the top in plastic, and give them their own little spot. I don't know about you, but I think it's important to know how to store these things that would reduce food waste in the world. What's up? Wow. I mean, that was a lot and not really amazing. Welcome to the show. Thank Armin. you so much, Thank guys. You. Don't you want to rewatch it like a hundred times? A hundred times. There's so much information in here. And I, there's so much hand. I have many questions. I have so many questions. Um, first of all, okay, two part question. How did you discover all of the hacks that you do? And B, how did you, the persona of the energy of the, how did you just know that was going to resonate in the craziest way? So I do a whole bunch of research and experiments, and I try to find ways to simplify everyday life. Sometimes it takes weeks to find a solution, but I'll do it. And to answer your other question, uh, I had no idea. You know, uh, Where did it come my, from? The, the, I've, I've always been... So I've been throwing a, things. I've been a breakdancer since you know high school. Oh wow! And, you, know, but you were born for TikTok. You're a cinematographer, <laughs> breakdancer. Yeah. So really the, the personality, upbe uh, the upbeatness. I don't know. If that's the word. Yeah, but that is. We that do it. that stands way back. So, oh my gosh. Okay. But, yeah. You, you're for us. <laughs> activate TikTok, Armin. Exactly. Yes. Activate. activate TikTok. <laughs> like, your energy is contagious. I'm like, okay, you got to show me the first thing because we, you're showing us how to separate your herbs from the stems, and it's the coolest way that I think you're going to do this for us. Absolutely. So, I mean, you want me to do it or you yeah, want to no, do it? No, I can do it. Let's do it together. Okay. Because right, I want your energy. You do okay. it first. Let me see how this works. So, so when you're separating leaves from your herbs, don't do this. You know, Dang instead, this. what you want to do is grab your uh, grater, cheese grater, uh -huh. stick them through the holes. Okay. Just kind of thread them through yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just, just one, making one an more. arrangement of, yeah. of parsley. Boom. Got it. And then just pull them out from the other end. Wait, this, Go ahead. this is really going to work? Yeah, do it. No way. Do it, do it, do it. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, my. Pull, ah. pull. Ah. Done. That was awesome. And, you know, okay. it works. You know, I find it tedious with, like, rosemary. Those, yes. you know? And All it right. works for rosemary, parsley, cilantro, basil, anything. Very cool. Do you cool. know how many culinary intro classes yes. I failed trying to peel yes, this off when exactly. I was in culinary school? Man, I should have gone to TikTok <laughs> University. Why did I? Oh, my gosh. That's so clever. Very Creative good. Explain. So you've got oh, our wow. herbs under control now. You are, your next tip is actually kind of a unique way to use a pasta strainer that you say saves us time. <laughs> you say it saves us muscle. I have to confess, I love you. I love your stuff. I'm super skeptical about this tip. So <laughs> prove me wrong. Convince me that okay. this is going to work. So, no, most people, when they strain pasta, they'll be like this uh, over the, you know, uh, sink, the yeah. sink. And then they'll dump the water. By the way, don't dump the water because it contains nutrients that you could feed your plants with. But and yourself with because the exactly. starch makes the best exactly. sauce. Exactly. Boom, you know. You in so wow. instead of straining it like this and then having it just dump it back in the pot and then, you know, uh, have it splash all over your face mm -hmm. and everything, you don't have to do that. Just put it over the pot like this and then... Wait. Uh -huh. Done. Uh -huh. One, one mean... simple move. Done. <laughs> Oh. That okay. is so much better. <laughs> I thought you meant like this. I was no. like, this guy's crazy. Hi. That's genius. I mean, <laughs> Don't mess with Armin, guys. He knows what he is doing. All right. Okay. That's gotta... incredible. All right. Mine's blown. <laughs> Next, Armin is going to turn banana peels, banana peels. Don't throw them out. Into a day at the spa. Check this out. 
When you're done eating bananas, don't drop the peels. You can use it to polish your leather shoes. Just look at that shine. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay, stop, wait. Huh? What? <laughs> Okay, the leather spa, not the beauty spa. Yeah. Okay. That was a tricky one. <laughs> so you take, you use banana peels to polish leather. Yep. It's just the, the oils and, and the minerals inside the banana peel. It has to be the white part. Oh, you do it with the, and oh. it doesn't get part. mush all over no, your leather shoes. And it shoes. just, it works not just for leather shoes. If you have like house plants, you can polish the leaves of your plants when they get dusty. The yeah. banana peel will just take it all out and give that shine. It's the same thing with leather shoes, anything this is leather. Ridiculous. This is okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm in. amazing. All right. right. Mine is completely just blown over here. All right, because now I'm going to put you on the spot. I want you to take us out to the break with a break dance move. Could Ooh, you do break, something? Yeah, where, where All where right. Do I, do it? I want you to hit it. And coming up, oh, here, come, come over there. Right over there. Right you want to oh, hit it. Oh, and there coming is. up. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Up, up. Try. Let me take my shoes off. Coming up, <laughs> well, you it. see that avocado seed over there? We're going to. Oh, do not throw it away because when we come back, Armin is showing us how to use it to keep our blood sugar in check and even get better skin. Go, come, on, go, let's go, do this. come on, come on, show me something. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna hit it. A little field tap. Oh, oh yes. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. oh, oh. What's happening? Hold up, now. You get on your head. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Don't you throw that out. Oh, All right. Out. <laughs> I scared you. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> seriously. Today, we're showing you amazing uses for things normally you would throw out in the kitchen. And the TikTok star, Armin Adamian, who goes by Creative Explain Guy on social media, does things with avocado seeds that you would not even imagine. Check this out, blow my mind one more time. Come on. You won't believe what you can do with an avocado seed. The first thing you want to do is quarter it. Then use a blender or a grinder to turn it into a powder. This is what you want it to look like. Now there are four things you can do with this avocado seed powder. You can simply add it to your smoothies or shakes, or add one teaspoon of it into a tea bag, put it in a cup, add some honey, hot water, and enjoy yourself this healing avocado tea. Mm. Avocado seeds are loaded with antioxidants, which can help reduce inflammation, high blood pressure, and cholesterol. Remove toxins from the digestive system, and because of the high fiber content, it can help prevent blood sugar imbalance. You can also mix the powder with egg whites, and use it as a natural face scrub. This will increase collagen production, remove dead skin cells, and improve aging skin. And finally, you can add the powder to break through the salt your plants will be super happy for the extra nutrients. Of course, you can always grow an avocado plant, too. <laughs> Who's that? My little puppy, Carl. 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 Little Carl. I, I mean, you can make a tea. You can feed your plants with it. You can make a face mask. We have our own avocado heat tea here to taste. I'm Ooh. like, I gotta drink this. Mm. I never would have thought of this before. Yeah. So, so this. Doesn't it taste like earthy? It, yeah. Yeah. It's really. It's just grinding up this. Yep. To become this. Wow. You know, powder. most most people don't know this, mm. but 70 percent of the antioxidants in an avocado is actually in the pit and not the flesh that you're eating. hundred. Well, you. So you're that. you're throwing out 70 percent of antioxidants every time. Um, we were just chatting, watching your amazing video, thinking about the sound effects, thinking about the just like the quality of production value. I, I have you had a really wonderful story over the break about how you got into break dancing and what what keeps you motivated in social media because it is, it is like it is so much more work than you make it look like. I kind of want you to share the break dancing story first. Okay, so the break dancing story <laughs> is uh, I I was 13. I, I was I was living in Europe, and. Uh, we decided to move to the U.S. I came here not speaking English. I just sp spoke Danish and Russian, uh, Ukrainian kind of. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my, uh, when we got to U.S. in Rhode Island, I had no friends, didn't speak the language, and I thought, how do I, how do I make friends then? 
So I thought breakdance. Well, at the time, I searched most popular things in the U.S., and breakdance came out. Oh. And, and I thought, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. So I taught myself. I went to high school. And actually, the first day of high school, I, I went in the auditorium. Everybody was there. It was like 2,000 students. And I came in here, a little foreigner, and I said, I saw, I saw, I saw the, it was in the gym. And I saw, I just visioned it. I said, if I just go in the middle right now, dance, and everybody will just know. So I went in the middle of the gym. There's 2,000 students around. And I said, and I took the microphone. It was a microphone for the principal. And I said, check this out with my European accent. I started breakdancing. Teachers came, like, go sit down. I sat down. Everybody clapped. And then, oh. and then I, <laughs> after that, everybody wanted to be my friend. And then yeah. that's the story. You know what that is? That's like having chutzpah of, like, I'm going to take, I'm going to do something crazy and weird just because I, I feel like it's the right thing. I feel like it's me. I feel like it's going to help me meet people. Taking a risk like that, you know? Exactly. I yeah. mean, I watched so many movies in Europe, and I thought, you know, if high school is really like the movies, oh. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to be classified <laughs> as that little group that, you know, uh, high school can be tough. Yeah, I didn't want to sure. go through that. So sure. You've had an amazing Owned energy it. that's just <laughs> captivating, and now it comes through the screen on TikTok. Exactly. And you have <laughs> one more hack that I am dying to hear about because I feel like everybody deals with this with just stainless steel all over the kitchen. You use a lime yes. to clean stainless steel? Absolutely. So, I got to see this. I'm going to okay, sip so, my drink. I got to see how you do this. All you need is a lime. You cut uh-huh. it in half like these. These have uh, been cut. Uh-huh. Oh. And then you take some baking soda. Let's go over here to the fridge. Uh, take, some, take, some bake, uh, take the lime, dip it in, uh, in baking soda. Mm-hmm. What I like to do is I like to just press around it to release that juice a little bit. And then you use it to scrub what? the metal or... Uh, fingerprints. Yes. <laughs> little kids any, all any, on my fridge. Any, any stainless steel surface. And, and even better, you know those hard water stains on your sink and Ooh, faucets? Yes. This will get rid of it and prevent it from from appearing. Wow. So, so then you take... Like, you wipe it off or something? Yeah, you wipe it off. It works even better with, like, a oh. little bit of water. But you can oh, see yeah, the we difference. Oh, yeah, one with water. Cool. You want one with water? Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit of water. Thank like that. And then a dry and one. And then maybe dry one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the car wash. Wax on, <laughs> wax on, wax off. But you'll see, you'll see the difference immediately. Wow. Yeah. Look at it as it dries. It's, oh, my gosh. Look you at this. You see it? <gasps> Wow. Boom. Nice. You've done nice. it again. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Our men. <laughs> man. This is so good. Thank you for our drinks. Thank you for all our great tips. Thank for you for that gorgeous too. great dance. And for inspiring <laughs> children in America to be themselves. And I so love it. Incredible. Stop throwing things out and start thinking, what can I do with these things before you throw them out? And if you don't know, then watch my videos. You Incredible. Go. And you should also check out his newest book, Don't Throw It Out 2, for even more tips. When we come back, it is time for The Good List, where you can find everything from the show in one place, including a super surprising way you can eat the paleo version of nachos. Oh, all right. So amazing. Thank you so much.